How you guys doing today and welcome back to Book of Ebrio and today we gotta talk about the common struggles of international student athletes. But before we talk about that, make sure you check out Book of Ebrio YouTube page for more stories. For student athletes, it is hard to balance sports and education, especially for international student athletes. The lack of sleep and exhaustion is just one of the issues they have to deal with. And to add to that, the language barriers or other school problems they may have. Not to mention, the feeling of homesickness that they have to go through since they are living thousand miles away from their families. These hardships were true for Chris Silva, the undrafted rookie of Miami Heat who moved to United States of America in 2012. He was only 16 years old and barely know English. After graduating from high school, he signed up with the University of South Carolina and joined the Gamecocks basketball team. Chris Silva consistently improved his skills and his stats throughout his college years. As a senior, he averaged 15 points, 7.6 rebounds, and 1.9 blocks per game. He entered the 2019 NBA draft, but this guy went undrafted. So instead, Chris signed a two-way contract with the Miami Heat. From high school to the NBA, he only visited once to his home country of Gabon. Since he moved to the United States, he only saw his mother once. But on December 27, 2019, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver and NBA Africa brought them together for the holidays. His mother, Kareen Minko Obame, surprised Chris while Miami Heat was still in practice. He was overwhelmed with emotions when he once again saw his mother for the first time after three years. He told CNN Sports, I thought I was seeing a ghost. Another athlete, Norberis Giga, moved to the United States to follow his dream as a professional basketball player. Same as Chris Silva, Norberis went to high school to play basketball. He played for St. Benedict's Prep in Newark, New Jersey. He had a longer route in college where he played for Tallahassee Community College, Midland College, and Jacksonville State University. Moving around colleges and universities played a big role in his collegiate basketball career, so visiting his home country was not part of it. On February 28, 2018, his mother surprised him while he was in Jacksonville State Gamecocks film room. He was reunited with his mother, who he hasn't seen in five years. But not all stories have happy endings. For Pascal Siakam and Joel Embiid, they were both recruited by NBA player Luke Rashar Bahamute from a basketball camp in Cameroon. The pair went to the United States also to follow their dreams. After high school, they both signed with Division I basketball team. Joel Embiid signed with Kansas State University and Pascal Siakam signed with New Mexico State University. Both of them were away from their families for quite some time. Pascal Siakam actually adjusted perfectly well in the United States. But while he was in college, he went through the saddest and unexpected news in his life. His father Tichamo Siakam died in a car crash on October 2014. Sadly, he was unable to go home due to immigration laws and issues. He mentioned in the Woj Pod Show an NBA podcast. When I found out, you know, he passed away the day before I missed his call, wishing that I had the opportunity to hear him out. To this day, he regrets he did not get a chance to attend his father's funeral because he was stuck in the United States. I am sitting there and I'm mourning the death of my dad. In my heart, I can't go home, I can't be there for my family, and I can't go back and see him for one last time. As for Joel Embiid, he was drafted by Philadelphia 76ers in 2014. Throughout his rookie year, he battled injuries. It was a long process for him to get healthy and get back in shape. On October 16, 2014, while the Philadelphia 76ers were playing against Boston Celtics in the preseason, Joel Embiid found out that his brother was killed in an accident. Arthur Embiid, only 13 years old, was struck by a truck in Cameroon. Since Joel Embiid left his hometown, he had not seen his brother for four years. In 2014, he almost retired from playing basketball. 
In his essay in the Players Tribune, a sports media platform, he stated, With Arthur gone, I felt like I had lost my purpose in life. I really just wanted to quit the game and go back to Cameroon to be with my family. Joel Embiid eventually stayed and became one of the best basketball players in the NBA. It is a hard and long process for international student athletes when it comes to pursuing their goals. Possibly a good experience for some, but certainly not an easy journey for everyone.